Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got a game between Liquid Chef and Coral MVP Tails. So Tails is the blue Protoss in the top position and Chef is the red Zerg in the left position. It's a ladder game and it is from the Razor Replay Pack of the Week which is on Team Liquid Pro every Thursday and it's fantastic because everyone is happy um, that one of their pro players releases, uh, well, raised, um, Team Liquid release a pack of one of their top players' games from the last kind of couple of weeks, and this week was Chef. So do download it, there's loads of awesome games there, you can look at your favourite player, they try to cycle through, um, there's a lot of Zergs, just because a lot of Liquid players are Zerg, um, but it's still awesome. So what can we expect from this map? Well, it's a ZVP, so that means we will probably see Chef go for a 14 or 15 pool, and then a later hatchery, just to be safe from any kind of cannoning or something like that. Obviously, uh, Forge Fast Caban isn't on the cards because this pylon is in Tails' base. Tails um, could, of course, have put a pylon down here, gone for a Nexus first and all that shenanigans, but choosing not to. Um, just because against Roaches with these rocks here, the Roaches can position kind of around here, pick all those rocks, and then it can just be a bit awkward and painful. But that's all cool. So, using this kind of downtime where not much happens, um, what have I done recently? I've cast one of Flash's games in StarCraft 2, actually, Brood War Flash, so check that out, it's awesome, it's on my channel. Um, I'm also doing the Antic Attack every Wednesday evening at 6.30pm UK time, so check that out as well. I'm on the D Esports stream, so definitely, definitely go and watch that, because it's pro. Um, it's just an online tournament, but you get some cool players, Nurcio is in the last one, um, Tails has been in it, a couple of other people, it's, it's pretty fun. So do, do go and watch it. Um, and then I guess the final, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Twitter, blah de blah de blah de blah. Um, there goes down a Nexus, actually, from Tails. So, Tails, did he did he even come and scout down here? No, he hasn't. So, he's just going for that Nexus. He's like, I'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen. Um, so, hopefully it won't, because otherwise Tails will sad face. Anyway, Chef, he's got his expansion coming out. He's getting his first gas now. You don't actually need that gas super, super early. Um... Purely because there's nothing really a Protoss player can throw at you really early on that you can't defend with just slowlings and queens. So you shouldn't worry too much about getting that gas. It's a bit of a stylistic thing more than anything else whether the player likes getting that speedlings because obviously zerking speed means you get better map control and you're just on the safe side. He comes down a pylon so everything's pretty standard. A Zealot getting chrono boosted out. This third base can be a bit of a pain to take because Chef can take it but these rocks have to be cleared out and killing them off with Zerglings is a nightmare because rocks have three armor, Zerglings do five damage, you can do the maths that it takes a long long time for them to just die. Um, so what is going on? Well there's more Zer um, Zealots getting chrono boosted out, Warpgate Tech is on the way, um, one Zealot happily marching across the map, he's gonna meet some Zerglings in the middle, we'll get two hits off and we'll be like no, no, Zerglings! Zerglings! My little tiny legs can't keep up with them. But the next Zella can't either, so the Zerglings will get in and see everything, which is a whole lot of nothing going on here. Um, what was I saying before all this was going on? Um, it was something like, yeah, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, that sort of shizzle. Um, also, like, leave me messages in the comments section, what you thought, comments, criticisms, love letters. Um, they're all brilliant. So, double gateway at the front here. That is room for a Zealot to squeeze through there, and a Stalker as well, so that can get walled off if need be, just to defend. Chef happily going long here. Of course, he does need to start thinking about taking his third relatively soon, because, obviously, Tails is natural is up, and you want to be one base up as a Zerg player, but... Actually, it looks like Chef's is going to flood with a lot of Zerglings right now. Um, so he could try and put some pressure on. There's a very, very forward pylon, though, here. And Chef has seen that. There are two more gateways about to finish up. So that'll be three gates. So this could be some three gate pressure, which would be quite interesting. The probe does get taken out. And now two Zealots and the Sentry are going to have a tough time dealing with that many Zerglings. But in a best possible position, as minimal surface area as possible. So even if Chef does manage to clean this out, he's going to take huge damage and it won't be very cost effective for him. But he does finally manage to clear everything out and actually didn't come out too badly. I thought it would have been worse than that. But still, Chef just getting a lot, a lot of Zerglings here and this is just like huge numbers and with speed as well now just finished up, this could be pretty scary. There's a one sentry there but nothing in the back to help defend. That could be a bit of a problem. Now some warping of units, a second sentry is there now, but just look at how many Zerglings there are here. And sentries just don't have the DPS to deal with this. The 
pylon was forced to be cancelled and now another gateway being added on just to kind of increase the layering of this wall off and a couple of zerglings being used to distract from the fact that Shet is trying to go around the back, he's getting his third base up behind this, so this is exactly what you want to be doing, pushing and expanding, push, expand, push, expand. Um, it works really nicely because obviously while you're their base, they're not at yours, and you can happily get your expansion up and running, which means your next push will be even stronger. So here we will see Chef just sitting with a couple of units out here, just poking backwards and forwards just to keep Tails a little bit scared. Um, and keeping him looking over here, but it does look like this pylon's gonna come over and say like, hang on, those rocks weren't at half ha health when I last saw them. And this is really the downside for Sheth here, is that Zerglings just take so long. And now we've got Zerglings at the front and at the back, and there's three sentries really, really confused about where they should be going. They're like, guys, guys, we should know, we, we should know, we know. There's Zerglings everywhere, and they don't know which ones to go for. But Tails is just going to complete a wall off at the top of this ramp because if one wall off isn't enough, just make two. Just wall off all of your base and you'll be absolutely fine. And now this is what we need is some stalkers which will allow him to shoot over the wall and just deal with all these zerglings. And now Chef is going to have this glorious moment where he's like, I'm going to be in his base. And then he's going to be like, oh. Oh, there's actually a wall off here. Damn it. But no, Sheth, he's in a good position because he's getting up his Roach Warren. He's getting up an Evo Chamber. He hasn't actually started yet, Lair yet, but he does have his third base finished. He's got Queen going there. He's got his third and fourth gas. Well, he's got three gases. He's getting his fourth now. He's going to have Roaches coming out pretty quick. But, of course, he spent a lot and um, committed a lot into getting those Zerglings. And, of course, now Tails, well, he's going to be quite ahead economically. If we take a look at the work account, it's 51 to 45. So, while Chef is six ahead... At the moment, that's not really significant enough um, at this stage of the game, coming up to nearly 10 minutes. So, that could be a bit of a problem for him going into the mid-game, but he's just building loads of roaches now at the moment. So, he's definitely wanting to keep the pressure on, so to speak. Now, this evolution chamber currently not being used for anything. Lair is on its way. It's about half done already. Plus one melee attack on its way out now, so Sheth favouring the melee attack. And this is quite a sizable army actually moving out here. And especially when that robotics facility, I was looking all around into right under my nose, does get done, then it will be able to do some serious, serious damage. So, um, again, all while Tails just left to build up an army, it's not too good news for Chef, but he has... No, Tails, Tails, you've left that exposed. The Zerglings, the Zerglings are going to run away. Because Zerglings get scared easily. Um, especially when they see a big ball of Protoss. Because Zerglings are like, mate, I can't do that. I can't deal with that sort of stuff. Observer is on the way out, and some roaches are starting to trickle through. Five more in production. Burrow also coming out, as well as roach speed. These zerglings are trickling their way through, and there is one zealot there, but one zealot won't fare too well against this many zerglings, except they still run by. Will give away what Chef is trying to do. A warp in is on its way down of a lot more units, so that will delay the strength of the push a little. And now these zerglings are all going to get picked off. That was a bit of a misclick there by Chef, and the force field placement perfect by Tails. Meanwhile, this one brave probe is just going to walk past the entire enemy army. And we'll just get right into the base. And Sheth is just like, it's only one probe, it's fine, I don't need to worry about that. Um, but now the Roaches are going to go and deal with the probe, um, just as all of Tails' army does reach the front. Now supply-wise, Sheth is about 30 ahead, but is that going to be enough? Not with great force fields that Tails has got. Those force fields are absolutely perfect, allowing him to dismantle this Roach army absolutely brilliant. He should be blinking that stalker back though. Really, really low HP. Um, I have got the health bars up just because, well, I think it's better. Um, do leave me feedback in the comment section but it does look like Chef is going to hold this off for the moment. But yeah, as I was saying, this looks like a pylon got down. Actually, oh my god, Tails managed to get a pylon down and the stalkers can just blink. Um, if you shift blink, Tails, you can get up there without that kind of awkwardness. Um, and now a lot of drones will be filled and the force field on the ram means that no reinforcements are going to be able to get up to deal with this. There's just so many sentries that those roaches and zerglings are not going to be there anytime soon. And just chain force fielding the ramp. And it looks like Tails is going to be able to go to town on all of Sheth's tech. Sheth's solution is, well, I'll just run around. And he's like, oh, there's no pile on there. It's actually in my base. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The evolution chamber goes down. The roach one is gone. Now all he needs to do is kill off that lair. And also the spawning pool and you'll be fine. But Sheth's like, well, if you're in my base, I'm going to go be in your base. See how you like it. 
And here comes forward all these roaches. The roaches are 0 0. A sentry gets sniped off near instantly. And now, really, Tails is in a bit of a base race situation, which he isn't probably going to come out on the best side of. But that immortal is not going to be coming out. And that's really good by Chef Folks firing down the robotics facility so there are no immortals but obviously with these extra with the warp gates all on the field then really eventually Tails could be able to deal with this but so far we will see that down at Chet's base these stalkers are getting cleaned up and it's not actually looking too positive the pylon is still there but of course Tails is going to need to reinforce back at his own base to be on the safe side the lair has gone down though the roaches are burrowed and now the natural base of Chef is going to get taken out. The roaches do unburrow and the zerglings come streaming in and this should get cleaned up. Meanwhile, at Tails' base, there's just so many roaches. Force fields on the ramp though are preventing most of them from coming in. They are actually hallucin- no, changelings! They're not even hallucinated, they are just changelings and now the roaches are on their way up there. They are picking off some sentries, um, strange use of changelings. But we will see that the just roach numbers are huge here and Tails is having a tough time dealing with it. I do think that Chef is taking it, the supply count says it all. But if I'd spoken about that earlier, it would have given it all away, wouldn't it? But a big warp in. And to be honest, just look at this stream of Zerglings coming. It is all over now for Tails. There is literally nothing Tails can do. Even if he holds off these roaches, he won't be able to deal with that stream in of units. Look at that train of red. And there's just nothing he's going to be able to do about it. And Tails will GG any second now. Because there is, as I said, literally nothing he can do right now. Um... He's lost his natural base, that's going to go down, these warp gates are dying, he's left with only two warp gates in his main, trying to kind of boost out, but to be honest that's going to get cleaned up so so quickly. The Zerglings get around the back to the Stalkers, which is exactly where they need to be, the Roaches can deal with those Zealots so so effectively, and there's the GG from Tails. So, that was an awesome little game there, sort of a mini base race going on, and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube, follow me on Twitter, um, leave me comments, etc, etc, etc. Tell your friends. Anyway, thank you very much and tune in again. Bye for now.